Hi there, this is Ian at dog to uk What I'm going to uh, unbox for you at the moment is, is quite a rare sight. It's a Dogtra 4500 Edge, but this is actually the 4503. This is the three color version. First time I've seen one of these, um, obviously they're quite expensive and it's been a special order for a customer, so I just thought I'd show you it. Um, obviously the instruction manual here, let me just get rid of the, um, the first box. Okay, so you've got the unit in a black abs plastic case here. There's the instruction manual that came with it. Um, and there is a UK plug adapter. Just bear in mind, these units are manufactured for Dogtra Europe. And they come with a European charger. If you are brave enough to buy your, do your dog collar from America, um, invariably it will come with an American charger. And you'll have to purchase a European charger or buy a European transformer. Or a USA to UK transformer. Uh, you can't just get away with using a USA to UK plug adapter, so just bear that in mind. I'll just set these aside for a moment. You can see what's inside the box. So here you go. This is the most technologically advanced electronic collar that you can buy on the market today. Um, it's the the box is absolutely chock a block full. I've got another plug adapter there. Um, first thing, obviously charger it's obvious uh, the the unit contains um, lithium polymer or lithium ion batteries um, and this is a special lithium ion charger little things here uh, charging leads test lights a number of test lights I'll show you another test light in a moment but these are splitting cables so you can charge all the collars up at one time little belt harness um for for you to use there and a few little spares okay uh, a different dial for you to use on top of the handset another little test light here which i'll show you exactly how the test lights work in a moment and then the handset is the handset's a fair size i've got fairly big hands but it has to be in order to control all four units um, because you can actually actually expand this to the 4504 which is a four dog unit um, collar which would come with a blue collar so you'd have one black, one orange, one green, one blue in that space there. And you've got the corresponding buttons here. On top of the, the handset you've got um, a rear stat for controlling the power of the collar and then you've got another button which controls the the option that you're going to use so you've got nick constant page and light light is a totally new option on the dog to collars that um that um is only particular to the 4500 series of collars so if i just turn this um this unit on there's a little power button at the back here so if I just turn it on by pressing the power button okay we'll see we've got a backlit display uh, and it says n at the bottom which stands for nick let me show you just how the collars work for start with. This is when I switched it on earlier. Um, I'll just switch it off. I'll put that on one side for a moment and we'll start with the orange collar. Okay, so if I switch it on, there's a little power button at the back. Switch it on. It should flash to tell me it's come on. I switched it back off again there. There we go, little green light on there. So let me show you how the light option works on it first of all, because this is particularly useful for people who are working dogs at night. You see there the the, um, the unit shows a back, backlight display, and it's on the L setting, L for light. So if you're used to working your dogs at night now, I mean, some people might think there's a connotation with working your dogs at night, thinking you're up to no good. But if you're a service dog handler, security dog handler, um, if you track wounded deer, which is becoming more popular in the UK, and you want to know where your dog is at night or it's, it's in the dark, you use one of these collars, you press, you put it on the light setting, and, of course, if I press the corresponding button, wow, you see how bright that is? You're not going to miss your dog from a very, very long way away if you are using that. So I'm pressing the orange button. Look how powerful that is. I could also do the similar thing with the green collar. Green collar, which I switched, I'd switched on earlier. Green collar. Green light. So you've got orange, orange light, green, green light. Hang on, if I put the black one on. Let's switch it on. So black one, I presume is... 
very very bright white pulsing white light there okay so that's the light variation of the collar this has got the longest range of any collar um, that dog to do it's over a mile um, very very powerful very versatile handset and let's show the electrical option I think the best way to show you is to actually just use the test light so you can see the test light there that I've got on top of the collar if I put the collar on Nick which is a 40th of a second impulse and it's on level 5 at the moment which will barely register for a dog to be honest with you but if I press the orange, corresponding orange button you can see the collar's receiving the signal but the test light really isn't lighting up because 5 isn't really that powerful most dogs wouldn't even register that so if I, if I up that to 16 you may well very very faintly just see the collar start to pulse as I press the button okay turn it up even more 30 you might see the pulsing gets even brighter okay further up to 60 there and if I turn it up to its full power which is 127 which is common for most dog to collars you can see the, the charge is stronger so therefore you're getting a brighter light if I turn that round to continuous and continuous is, is pulsing while ever you've got your finger on the button anything up to 12 seconds I believe it is so you press the orange button and you can see you've got pulsing now if a dog's in a flat out chase I use pulse but what I do are, are constant but I start down very very low with the dog so I'm turning the collar unit right down to probably an, an area where a dog would just about feel it and comply with a, like a recall when it's not under distraction probably around about level 30 if my dog was in a flat out chase I would press the orange button it would be pulsing I'd be calling the dog in a really enthusiastic manner, not in a telling off manner, in an enthusiastic manner, and I'd be turning the collar up. So it's going up and up and up, and at the point that the dog complies, I take my finger off the button straight away. I call the dog back to me and make a big fuss of it, a very, very big fuss of it. If it starts chasing again, boom, finger straight back on the button. And the dog's receiving the impulse. Similarly, I could be doing exactly the same thing with the dog wearing the green collar. So I've got the green collar here. I end up getting tied up with collars here, but um, a green collar, and so here you go. Ooh, you notice it. You see here that the backlight comes up green as well, so you know which collar you're controlling. And again, you go to the dog, the dog wearing the green collar, and you can just chain, call that dog in that's wearing the green collar, and black collar. And again, press the corresponding black button. You can see. I think this collar actually needs charging up. Bear with me a second. This particular collar needs charging up, I think. Um, there you go. It's working now. I didn't have it on properly. So you can see that's pulsing away quite happily and you've got a, a white display on the background there. Now, uh, Nick on the collar is a 40th of a second impulse. So you press it once, you get a 40th of a second. The green collar, probably won't see it responding, but you can see when it's receiving a signal because the LEDs light up, so 40th of a second. And the orange collar, 40th of a second. It's receiving the impulse there. Okay, you've got an orange backlight on the display there. Okay, now, um, as I mentioned, this is the most technologically advanced collar that Dogtra do. Um, it's fully waterproof, both the handset and the collars will take full immersion in water. Uh, very versatile. You can just buy another. You can buy another collar unit for it and add the collar unit to the to the unit, so you can have up to four collars. You can actually just buy this as a one collar unit, but you can expand it later. You can put one, two, three, four collars um, onto it. The other option that I should bear that I should tell you about as well is something called Page. Page again is particular to dog tra collars. Page is vibration. So if I just move the box to one side here for a moment and put the black collar on the table it's buzzing away now my dogs are sleeping in a cage at the other side of the room and her head's just lifted up off the floor and she's fast asleep so even the buzzing sound is enough to get a dog's attention the orange one that's obviously got more charge in it at the moment it's sat on the table in a better way and the green one 
Yeah, probably. Yeah. You can see that vibrating against your dog's throat is a really, really good way to get your dog's attention. So that's the dog truck 4500 edge for the people who are uh, you know really want to know about the size of collars because I was talking to a chap about the size of the collar that earlier on um, the collar unit across the front three inches three inches across the front uh, one and three quarter inches one uh, high and the depth is again one and three quarter inches without taking the contacts into account. The con these contacts that are on are 5 eighths of an inch contacts, they're suitable for most breeds of dog that are short to medium coat. If anybody's got a longer coated dog, um, I do sell 3 quarter of an inch contacts and if you've got a really really deep coated dog, something like a Samoyed or a Chow or very very long coated German Shepherd or a Keita or something like that, I do 1 inch contacts which are also compatible with this system. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much more I can tell you about, about the unit. It comes with a two-year warranty. Um, incredibly versatile, often used by falconers, wild fowlers, people who are running packs of dogs. The last person I saw using one of these was a security dog handler who was running uh, a pack of dogs. But he'd only bought the one dog unit, but he knew full well that he could expand just by adding more collars at a later date. I think it's fantastic. And to be honest with you, if I was running as many dogs as I used to do, and I used to own 20 plus dogs, um, I would be using one of these, because I think it's it's just about one of the best things that Dogtra have brought out in years. So there you go, that's the Dogtra 4500 Edge. I'm in at Dogtra UK. If you've got any questions, just give me a call. Thank you.